excuse me. Greetings YouTube, my name is Inquisitor Arsenal Novolith and welcome to my channel. Today is <clears throat> Wednesday August no Thursday, August thirty first, two thousand seventeen, two fifty three PM. I'm kind of frustrated <clears throat> because uh the last let's play I completed was the Mummy uh no Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb or Tomba Tomb, whatever you want to call it. Uh that was like two days ago, maybe two and a half days ago. The next the, the let's play after that that I started on was Indiana Jones and the Staff of Kings. <clears throat> that game kinda got on my nerves, so I I gave it up. Uh, I mean, I, I was kinda bummed about having to give it up because I wanted to have both Indiana Jones let's plays for the PS two on my channel and both you know, Pirates of the Caribbean games for the PS2. But, uh, I only ended up getting one Pirates of the Caribbean Let's Play completed, completed and one Indiana Jones Let's Play completed. <clears throat> so, oh well. Yesterday, I started on the Mummy Returns Let's Play, and I wanted to do all three Mummy games for the PS2. There's the Mummy Returns, there's the Scorpion King, and then there's the Mummy, the Dragon Emperor. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Um... So I gave up on the, mummy, on the Mummy Returns, and normally when I want to do a series of games, like, you know, like games that have something to do with one another, like Mummy 1, 2, or 3, or whatever, I just, if I get frustrated with one, and I have to give up on one, I don't want to do the others, because I, I, I like to do them all, not necessarily in order, but, uh, you know, I guess in this case I wanted to to do them all in order because I wanted to have all of the games on my channel. But anyways, <clears throat> uh, so I gave up on that game, and uh, yeah, I was kind of bummed about that. But here I am today. I'm back to uh, <clears throat> try again. Uh, yesterday, I got stuck on. Uh, I gave up. I gave up yesterday, but I I, I got stuck on the very first level because I couldn't find the last ruby. But after watching a walkthrough on YouTube, I think I know where to get that last ruby. And I think, <clears throat> I don't know, but I think that, uh, I think that the first level may be, uh, the hardest one for me. Or, I don't know. All I know is that, uh, I want to give it one more, one more shot. <clears throat> and, uh, if it doesn't work out, I won't cancel the other games that I'm going to let's play after this. I'll just put them on hold, I guess. Because I do want to have a... I do want to have some, some let's plays of movie games on my channel. So, let's see what happens. <laughs> and there's two campaigns. I don't know how this is going to work out, but I would really like to uh, complete this game years ago, in one a sitting. A fierce warrior known as the Scorpion King <laughs> led a great army on a campaign to unite the known world. Though they fought well, the Scorpion King and his army were defeated by the Sumerians and driven deep into Arm Shear, the sacred desert. On death's door, the Scorpion King made a pact with the desert god, Anubis. If Anubis would let him live to conquer his enemies, he would surrender to Anubis, his immortal soul. The next year, the Scorpion King stormed northward with the army of Anubis. No power on Earth could stop the supernatural warriors, and the Sumerians were crushed before them. But the Scorpion King's moment of victory was also his last. As the army of Anubis returned once again to oblivion, the soul of the Scorpion King was banished to the underworld. Though thousands of years have passed since then, history has a way of repeating itself. According to the calendar of the ancients, the year of the Scorpion is once again upon us. Though my old friends Rick and Evie, and now their son Alex, think only to spend their days in pursuit of knowledge and treasure, 
They will soon find themselves on the path of danger once more. Stumbling through the ruins of the ancient past, they uncover an accursed trap that leads them to their destined place, the ultimate between good and evil. For the mummy returns. It's so dark in here, Rick. And yet, it's all so familiar. Uh, tell me, Sweet Pea, if this ancient temple has been sealed off from the world for a thousand years or so, why is there a burning torch right over there? Take your pick, darling. Could be grave robbers, treasure seekers, or just the eternal flame of the damned. Now you're talking! I pick grave robbers. Can we go now? I can hardly make out a single hieroglyph. And yet, something tells me I've seen this all before, as if in a dream. What? Sand? Scarabs? Scorpions? Darling, throw in an evil mummy or two, and you're basically describing our honeymoon. Scorpions? Where? Be careful, Alex. Oh, Mom, I'm always careful. Whoa! Alex, you all right? I think so, but I fell down some kind of steep chute, and I can't get back up it. Sorry I broke the temple, Mum. Oh, Alex, can you tell me where you are? Can you see anything? Uh, not much. I'm in a huge room filled with giant statues, but I can't see much else. It's really dark in here. Don't worry, Alex. We'll be right there. We've got to find another way down there. Come on, let's go. But yeah, sometimes, uh... <clears throat> I often complain about, uh... Not complain, but I often say sometimes that, uh, that... budget games sometimes have budget issues or whatever. And I know that doesn't make any sense. To me it does, but... This game is a prime example, because as you can see, there's no camera control. The right stick. Hang on a second. I mean, the right stick does this. Forward, down, left, right. That's all it does. <clears throat> now, that's got to be an issue. Well, I don't, I don't know. I think... I guess that's a budget, a budget issue. It's something. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, this game, there's no way to center the camera. <clears throat> and, uh... Yeah, context-sensitive jumping. Here's where I was stuck at. I found all the rubies, but I totally ignored this spot right here. frustrated yesterday because even with all this game's issues I still kind of like the game I mean the good thing is you can save you can save anywhere the map is god awful but uh the combat's pretty decent you can save anywhere and uh Yesterday, I spent two videos, two 30 minute videos on, on this part of the game. Two 30 minute, two 30, 30 plus minute videos on this game. I'm hoping today I can beat this level with just one video. Just run really fast and hope the arrows don't kill you. What kind of plan is that? Hey, it's a plan. You got any better ideas? You've got to shield yourself somehow. Find something you can use to block the arrows. <laughs> and I, I, I know I'm doing things. I'm doing things a little uh, out of order. 
But, uh, I don't know, I'm just really fed up with this level. I can just get past this part. I really don't want to give up my torch, but uh, <coughs> excuse me, but I do want to get all these rubies. Where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? I greatly appreciate the Save Anywhere feature, especially for this level. first ruby. I need to collect four of them. So I have three to go. Uh, shoot. Should I go back the way I came? Or should I just continue forward? Uh, I want to go back the way I came, but I don't want to have to deal with those those arrows. Oh, they're gone. That's good. Really good. What's this? What is that? Oh well. Uh, let's see here. I know this is stupid, but I, I, I like having a torch. The torch isn't really that useful for like seeing with. Like it doesn't really light up a lot, a lot of uh, the area that you're in, but. It is good for lighting up torches along the way. So even though you can't see with it too well while you're using it, you can use it to light up, you know, any area that you go to. So in case you have to come back to an area. It's it's, it's kind of good to uh let you know where you've already been. You know, cuz if, if you light up you know all the areas along the way, then if you're kind of stuck or lost on this level then it's good for showing you you know where you've already been just look for the lit torches where is my torch where is my torch I mean I mean I made I made a few wrong turns but it's okay I think I know exactly where it's at. I kind of made, I kind of intentionally made a wrong turn because I wanted to explore a little bit. I've been there. I need to go here. I think. Yeah. Ah. There we go. See, it doesn't light up a lot. It doesn't really show you. I don't know. It's not too good for showing you where you, uh, like where you're at and stuff. But uh, <coughs> excuse me. Now if I can just find out where I was before, I think over here, right? Okay, here we go. Excuse me. This video may be 30 or 40 minutes long. I prefer all my videos to be 30 minutes long. But uh, for this level, I'll make an exception. 
because I did do quite a bit of talking uh, in my introduction video. But uh, it's okay. And the neat thing about the lady, or his wife, or whatever, she'll actually help you fight. She'll shoot enemies. I do appreciate the fact that uh, there's an inventory system in the game. I have multiple swords, I have uh, a hook thing, <coughs> health packs. If you want to use health packs, like a uh, quick use, you just press R1. I learned that just by messing around during my previous failed attempt attempts at let's playing this level. Okay. Unbelievable. The chamber of the Scorpion King. Whew. I hate to think it's in there. Mom, Dad, I'm in here. Is that you? You've got to get me out of here. Alex, hang on. We'll hurry. It won't budge. All right. Let's try it your way. Can you read the instructions on this thing? There's something here about four keys. No, no, not keys exactly. Four immense rubies that act like keys. We've got to place them into this cartouche and the Scorpion King will be appeased and let us enter. There. That doesn't sound so bad, Alex. We'll just go take a look around for those rubies and come directly back for you. All right. Let's do it. Excuse me. I think I had the mic away from my mouth when I was talking. <clears throat> but in, in short, you have an inventory. You can. Uh, you have your health here. <clears throat> you can use R1 to quick use uh, your healing items or your health packs. <clears throat> Rather than selecting it from the, uh, the menu, I have one ruby. But I want to wait. I want to wait until I get all of the rubies first, <clears throat> and then I'll just use them. Because I don't feel like, you know, using one, then looking for the other one, then using that one, and then looking for the other one. I, I, I don't really want to do that. So I'm just going to collect all four. <laughs> because the one that I found in this wall right here that was the only one that I was missing so I, I, I have an idea of where the other two are <coughs> excuse me if I have any problems it's going to be with navigating because there's one room, one room that has a movie or something and uh... <laughs> And uh, the area it's in is a little uh, annoying, at least for me, to uh, navigate out of that area. It may take a few minutes. sort of ancient crypt. Look, this chamber is the final resting place of a most beloved servant of the Scorpion King himself. Apparently he's some sort of guardian. Guardian of the keys, actually. And the rest is just a lot of the usual gibberish about how all who enter here will die a thousand deaths and... Gibberish? Hmm, maybe we should skip this road. Come on, we've got to find Alex.
What the? <clears throat> but yeah, budget games. I'm assuming this is a budget game. Often have their issues. At least the ones that I played, anyways. I like to call them budget issues. Like not having, not not being able to have camera control. I don't know if that was the budget issue or if that was just uh, whatever. And I don't, I, I don't, I don't, I don't really know what's up with all of the uh, the mummy uh, body part collecting. Whatever. Excuse me. That's two rubies. Two more to go. Excuse me. The other rubies are actually pretty easy to get, <coughs> at least for me. And if you if you watch this video, even though this isn't a walkthrough, it's a let's play, you might not have too much trouble finding them. The main my main issue with this first level was just navigation, just navigating the area, because like I said before, this this map is not my friend. Looks like something from the N64, but uh. It has its uses, but uh, my first impressions of it, when using it, I was confused. Confused, like you wouldn't believe. Not really confused, but <coughs> I mean, you can't you can't even zoom out. I mean, you can zoom in and zoom out, but you can't really rotate the map. So you can't really look at it from like a top-down view. You have to look at it from the side. This map is very. Like, or this torch is very useless. Well, it, it has one use. That's about it. But there also is going to be a lock on fishing. So you have to kind of just uh, swing and pray with this thing. Here we go. Excuse me. This part is, that is also kind of easy. The main issue with this game's platforming, or whatever, whatever it calls it, <laughs> is uh, no camera control. At that and context sensitive stuff. Like, in order to jump, you gotta stand all the way on the edge of something and wait for it to tell you to jump. So let's climb here. I do I do a lot of saving in this whole level, but also on this part right here. Uh, let's go this way. You have to wait for the game to tell you to climb or jump, which is not really fun in my opinion. So you wanna, you wanna use some dynamite here as well. As well as right here. 
Yeah, when I first played this game, I didn't realize it had a, uh, a save anywhere feature. I thought I thought the game would save after every level. Excuse me. Or I thought that perhaps the game would auto save, and I was wrong. So naturally, I started to complain about the game, how the game has no save feature. But then I realized about like 30 minutes later that I could save wherever I wanted to. Okay. Okay, here's another ruby. Freaks of annoying. Let's see. There we go. Now for the next one. I tried using a walkthrough for this game, like a video walkthrough. I watched the uh, slasher JPCs. I watch his, his reviews sometimes, and it's funny because when I was watching him play, even before he figured it out, I saw the crack in the wall and I was like, oh, that's what I missed when I was trying to let's play the game. Because that was the only other spot that I missed. I found all three rubies except for one. Yeah, he, he 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 does a walkthrough of the game. Uh, it's, it's it's okay. Excuse me. I tried to find a walkthrough where each level was his own video, but I couldn't find one of those. So that's what I'm gonna try and do because I don't I don't know. I just get the feeling that these levels are pretty short. They're just... Uh, so... Yeah, to me it's kind of confusing. When I watch it. When I'm trying to use it like three, And the level is more than one video. I mean, for this game it's confusing. Because I know this 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 vid, this level could be one video because I almost did it before. So in his walkthrough, this level is I think two videos. So it's just fine. It's just hard for me to follow. I only needed help with just one part. And the other walkthrough I found online, uh, this level is like three videos. And, uh, yeah. It's, it, it, it's useful, but I guess. If, if 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 this level is more than one video, and they're doing things in their own kind of order, which is also fine, and it gets kind of hard for me to follow. I think I'm not any kind of a walkthrough watching expert. Excuse me. 
I just think that for this level in particular, I prefer it to be one one video. Now this area, this whole area, is hard for me to navigate. Like uh, when I'm trying to get out of get out of here. Everything else is okay. So I think the only problem I'll have is just getting out of this area after I get the ruby. I'm not even sure where the ruby is exactly, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's here somewhere. It's around here somewhere. This area. right here. Scorpion Ruby, it's two, Asp Ruby, Scarab Ruby, three, Spider Ruby, four. So let's get out of here, please. Save again. I'm really going to abuse this uh, Save Anywhere feature. Oh, yes. Now. This may sound crazy, but I, you know, for me, using the map <coughs> to exit this area is more confusing than just running around. Cause like, I, I, don't, I don't like that map. I don't, I don't like this map, at, le at least for this level. Also save when you're fighting the last boss. I, I, I don't think there's a limit to how many times you can save when fighting the last boss. Even though the last boss is a little too hard, I, I like doing that. The game is, you know, particularly annoying or whatever. Oh, come on! Wow. Okay. Okay. So the zombie guy or the mummy. The mummy body parts can actually be used as weapons. That's good to know. But I, I still prefer my sword over some uh, mummy arm. <sighs> Perfect. I won't even fight this guy. Get out of here. Well, like I said, the, the most annoying part of this game will be just trying, <coughs> or of this mission will be uh, just trying to uh, 
trying to get out of here now. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have to find that statue. There's there's a room that has a head on the ground. Once I get there, I think I'm halfway. <clears throat> okay, here it is. Now I have to find my way out from here. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm not going to use the map right now. I will if I have to, but I want to try and just wing it. Let's see. Let's see here. That brings me back to this room. Okay, so let's try going this way. Uh, let's, should I go down here and try? Maybe the left? figured this thing out. Alex! You alright? Mom! Dad! I thought you'd never make it! Darling, don't worry. We're all together now. We'll be safe. Uh, don't make any promises you can't keep, sweetie. Look. What's this? The carvings suggest a sacred power, greater than can be known or imagined. That's great, honey. Honey! Uh, Mom? Oh my god! It's the mythical bracelet of the Scorpion King! The Benbridge scholars said it couldn't really exist, and yet here it is! That's what they said about this guy, and yet here he is too! Run! All right, this video may be longer than I thought. Let's make a save. I wonder what kind of effect bullets we'll have on this guy. Or on this thing, whatever it is. Okay. 
I guess I'm supposed to use the sword, because... Go home now, Rick. Really, I want to go home. Are you sure? This place has got it all. Sand, scorpions, spiders. I'd hate to just walk away from all this. Rick, don't make me beg. <laughs> Come on, let's go home. Arriving back in Britain after their narrow escape from the temple ruins, Rick, Evie. Jonathan and Alex are surprised by Mila and a group of Imhotep's red turbans. Alex is the first to realize that they're after the bracelet box his family brought back from the temple which will ruin their plot. Alex puts on the bracelet found inside the box and replaces it with a heavy vase. Mila and the red turbans kidnap Evie and steal the useless box. Thinking they have finally found the bracelet. Yet all is not lost. Alex recognizes that one of the intruders is actually the curator of the British Museum. Hot on the trail, the group sets off to make their way to the famed museum. Arriving there, Alex and Jonathan are left in the car, while Rick and Ardith sneak inside the museum to get Evie back, and with any luck, Stop Mila and the red turbans along the way. Okay, here's the plan. We're gonna rip apart every inch of this place until we find my wife. That is your plan. So you got a better one? Where I come from, we would just ask him. Get out of here! Get out while you still can! It's chaos! The basement's full of dark creatures, strange fellas in red turbans, and they're all armed. Every one of them! They're up to some kind of strange ceremony, and all I know is I'll be damned if all the museum's displays are coming to life. I know it sounds dark, but it's like the whole place is under some kind of spell or something. How do we get to the basement? Well, you'd have to ask Roger about that, wouldn't you? Seeing as he's the only one with the key to the basement level. Where is this Roger? Well, you'd have to ask Charlie about that, the old mule, seeing as he's the only one with the key to the second floor. Who said anything about the second floor? We're trying to get to the basement. Don't get snippy with me. I'm under a considerable deal of stress at the moment. Roger's up there or two. That's where he works. So, where's Charlie? Oh, he's hiding down here somewhere, scared witless, that old mother hen. You won't be seeing old Charlie till you've cleared every threat of danger from this floor. Destroy everything, make it good and safe down here. Then the old goat will come creeping out and act like some kind of hero or something. Enough said. Good luck, Ben. My shift's over. I'm getting out while I still can. Did you get any of that? Something about a mule, a goat, and a hen. Like an ancient proverb. We gotta find the guards and get upstairs to get access to the basement. 
And then, we just gotta stick to the original plan. Rip this place apart while we look for my wife. You are wise, Rick O'Connell. Alright, I'll see you guys in my next video.